Thank you very, very much. Jeff, what is the latest there then? Do you want to just summarise it for us, please? Sure. Well, in his sentencing, the judge said that Thomas Roberts uh, did nothing wrong at all that night. He was simply unlucky to be in the wrong place and at the wrong time. Um, various mitigating circumstances were brought up in court, and the judge addressed these directly. He said that Lawangin Abdul Rahimzai would have suffered trauma earlier in his life growing up in Afghanistan. He said there can be no doubt of the, the effect of growing up in Afghanistan and witnessing the horrors of the war there. He said, I accept that his past life experiences have left him very damaged, affected how he reacts to other people and to certain situations. But he said, and he said, this does have some effect on his culpability, but only to a very small extent. There is extreme violence was wholly unjustified. He goes on to say that he had gone out seeking trouble that night with a knife in his pocket. The 22nd, 26th second argument that led to the tragedy was entirely of his own making. Well, Simon Huxter, the senior investigating officer, spoke to us earlier on this afternoon. Thoughts are with the family and loved ones of Thomas Roberts. And I want to thank them for the dignified way that they have conducted themselves throughout the investigation and court proceedings. I would also like to thank all those from Dorset Police and the prosecution team who have worked tirelessly to achieve justice for Tommy and his family. Tommy's family and loved ones have suffered an unspeakable loss as a result of this horrific incident involving a knife. If anyone out there believes that someone is in a possession of a knife or offensive weapon, please contact the police immediately. Matters relating to the defendant's background and previous convictions have been shared with relevant agencies to ensure appropriate reviews are carried out and areas for learning identified. However, my focus and that of my teams for the last nine months has been to gather the evidence relating to the brutal murder of Tommy and ensure that his killer has been brought to justice. Well, uh, before the uh, sentencing, we heard some pretty harrowing victim statements, particularly one from Thomas's girlfriend, who talked about life now as being trapped in an endless cycle of disbelief. Well, he was sentenced to life in prison this afternoon, uh, and he will serve at least 29 years.